Hello and welcome to another update video. In this video, I want to show you how you can create and set up a trading bot on KuCoin. I know there are various different um, trading bots available on different platforms and maybe some are better than the ones on KuCoin. I don't know. I have so far only used um, the ones on KuCoin and the advantage was I don't need to pay for any sort of monthly subscription and I'm using KuCoin anyway. So for me, it was a no brainer just to try it before I spent any monthly subscription fees for any other platforms. I know there are other ones which are good as well, um, but I just started to use KuCoin and I'm quite happy with them. I've got 10 bots running, which for me at the moment is the maximum I can do. To be honest, I don't know if there is a possibility to set up more and to let more run. This is the first one that I actually set up um, around four weeks ago. Um, there you can actually see it five weeks ago, 37 days. It has been running now and VeChain was probably one of the worst pairs of VeChain USDT was probably one of the worst pairs I could choose because first of all, VeChain, it took a long time in the last few weeks. Most of the time the VeChain price was down anyway um, against USDT. So it was pretty much always um, the current price that you can see was actually below the entry price. But still the bot made profits even though the current price was below the entry price. And I'm going to get a little bit more into that in a minute. Um, I also, because it was my first bot that I've ever used, I've never come across trading bots before, I've never used them, never really looked into them, uh, looked into them, but there you go, I tried it and it works. And you know, I put a comparatively small investment in there with 170 USDT. And to be honest, um, I've made within 37 days, $24 in or USDT in profit. Now that doesn't sound much, but compared to the investment of 170, that's actually not too bad considering VeChain, which didn't really go up much in price since I started it. So obviously the, the story would look different with a cryptocurrency that has gone up um, in value a lot, but that doesn't really matter because that is obviously about your investment. So of course you can choose to set up a trading bot with a cryptocurrency that yeah, you know, if, if it goes up in value, of course, your profits, your total profits go up as well. But what the trading bot actually does, you, you shouldn't really look at the total profits. You need to look at floating PL and grid profits. OK, so first of all, to set up a trading bot, ideally, I think you, you want a, a pair and you can select it. I'm going to show you that in a minute. You want a pair which is quite volatile. VeChain isn't that volatile. So probably the grid profits aren't as high as they could be on some other pairs. Um, but I had a lot of requests, you know, to make a video on how to set one up because I, I'm actually quite impressed um, about how it works. So again, investment, initial investment, 170 USDT, total profits, 24 um, USDT after 37 days, 14% um, profit, basically. And this is the important thing, the grid profits. This is what the bot has achieved from buying low and selling high continuously. And this bot, and I shared it with the members in the private Telegram group. This bot was in profit. I think it took it a couple of weeks to get into profit. And the reason was that throughout the last few weeks, I mean, you can see my entry price at 11.4 cents. You know that in the last few weeks, VeChain was pretty much below $11, uh, sorry, 0.11, well, 11 cents, pretty much 11.4 cents. So you know that it was below pretty much 11 cents for a long time. And even when it was around 11 cents, so pretty much below the entry price, it started to make profits. And that was really good to see. So had I just bought VeChain in a, let's call it traditional way and held it somewhere, I would have made a loss. I would have been in a loss basically, but the, the bot continuously traded VeChain USDT and basically sold and bought, sold, sold high and bought low back, you know? And that essentially generates these grid profits. So these grid profits purely come from buying low and selling high. Even if the price is going down, the bot is continuously doing that, you know? Um, so is that, that means even when actually the actual price was below the entry price, it was generating profit. And at some point then, because the VeChain price was quite stable for a while, actually continued to stay below my entry price. After a few days, it generated uh, profits and enough profits that actually the profits from the grid profits exceeded actually the um, price difference, the negative price difference. So I was in profit even though I had bought at a higher price. So that was quite interesting to see. Or oh, the floating PL is actually the, the, these are actually the profits or the loss um, from the actual price difference between current price and entry price. You can see that this is the current profit is pretty much five USDT. 
but most of the profits came from the bot actually doing the trading, right? And that's awesome. So it works. It works with VeChain. And if I was scrolling up, you would see that I've got some other VeChain bots running. I've got some Koti bots running. I've got um, some other ones with KuCoin, um, the KuCoin um, token. And they, they are pretty much all in profit with the exception of Koti because Koti, I think, dropped a bit too much in price um, since I actually started that uh, bot. But that doesn't matter. Nine bots in profit and one is in a loss. And that's looking good. And most of them are generating grid profit. So, so even if even if the price of the actual investment is going up, the grid profits will also be there on top of that, okay? So I just want to show you that it works, right? So over the period of four or five weeks, all my bots pretty much with the exception of one, but that is working towards a profit now as well. So the loss is reducing every day. Um, all of them are looking good, okay? So there is obviously a risk with bots. Um, I mean, just want to make that clear here that it's not guaranteed that this works because I've only been using it for four or five weeks. So I only tell you here my own experience. So please bear in mind, this is not my, this is no financial advice. I'm not telling you to use the VeChain USDT pair. I'm not telling you to use trading bots at all. I'm only telling you here my own experience because people wanted to know how it works to set them up. And there might be some disadvantages I don't even know about yet um, because I've only been using them for four or five weeks. So I recommend when you start it, that you maybe just use a smaller amount. Yeah, just see how it works for you. And that's probably what, what I can say. And also, I mean, there could theoretically, there could be a programming problem. You know, it, it could just do some, some rubbish stuff and, and you don't see it, you don't know about it. So you could actually, if, if the bot has a bug or whatever, um, that, that could be a problem. Also, the other problem is that you don't hold when you're running the bot, you don't hold your crypto in your wallet, not in your hardware wallet. It's actually like the bot is doing it, it's on the exchange. So should the exchange be hacked or should you, um, yeah, be, be, be a victim of a scam, then that's another problem, right? Um, so that, that that's pretty much the, the main disadvantages, but overall it's working, I'm quite happy with it. And let me just show you how you can set that up. So here on the KuCoin exchange, what you can do, um, first of all, you have to register, obviously. Um, you have a choice to do no, your, your KYC or not. I think I haven't even done it here. So you don't need to do KYC with KuCoin. Um, and then you go to trade and you go to trading bot. Yeah. And that's why I'm here trading bot. There are various um, things here that you can do. You can do spot grid. That's the only one that I've tried so far. You can do futures grid, which I have no experience with. And it does longs and shorts apparently. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, again, I don't know how it works. I haven't looked into that. I have so far only looked into spot grid and smart rebalance is there and I haven't looked into that yet. And dollar cost averaging is there. And again, I haven't looked into that, but I find the concept quite cool that you can dollar cost average in. But um, to be honest, I don't know what the main advantage is. Also, you can see that the spot grid one is probably the most pr um, First of all, it's newbies recommended. So for me, as a trading bot newbie, it worked well. Also, um, you can see that most bots are actually set up here. I mean, they've got more than 3 million bots running that um, this is actually probably the most popular one. And here on the right hand side, you can actually see the pairs that um, work well. So you can see the people who are actually running them. And with Bolt USDT, apparently most profits were made the last uh, whatever in the last few days so 13,000 percent now I wouldn't necessarily go after this because it could be that these people have programmed their bots in a certain way I have so far only used the default features okay so I didn't really want to engage in any changing any settings I'm sure I would do that maybe in the future but at the moment to start with I've only used the the, the the standard features so when you're starting maybe also just use the standard ones and then you can later refine the settings if you want to um, but that's what I did so I'm going to show you how to create a bot now all right so you click on create bot and then this um, dashboard comes up and that's pretty much all you need to do so first of all you have to select your the pair that you want to trade and when you just click on this, you will see various pairs that are available. I, I would personally only do USDT or USDC. So it, it, it you know, personally, maybe I'll change my, um, my view in the future, but it probably makes it easier when it later comes to calculating your taxes. Yeah. So I always keep that in my, in my mind because when you trade against BTC or ETH, ETH, you know, it might just create a mess, you know? So I will, um, 
let's choose a USDT in the minute, um, in a moment. USDT also I would recommend over USDC, at least on KuCoin, because most pairs can be traded with USDT. I think USDC has a bit less, less exposure here on, um, on KuCoin. So USDT, you have more pairs to trade. What I would also recommend is to use one with a higher volatility. Now, I don't know if necessarily like a 98% volatility is better than a 20% one, but um, I think it should definitely be above 15, okay? That, that's my own experience. And again, other people, if you have other experience, uh, more better experience than me with crypto bots, let me know in the comments what you recommend. But um, let's just for the, just for, for pure simplicity, let's just choose again, because I started with VeChain, let's just choose VeChain. So you can see the volatility here. It's actually a bit low for crypto bot. I still started to use it because at the time it was the only um, crypto I had actually available on the exchange. So you click on VET USDT and then you can actually see the AI parameters and I haven't changed anything there. I haven't customized it in any way. Now you could do that if you're very familiar with trading bots, but I just use the standard settings here. And then um, you can decide, do you want to use your USDT? So if you have any USDT on uh, KuCoin, then you can use the USDT and you can put your total investment in. So whatever, 100, 200, 300 USDT. As I said, I would recommend just using a small um, amount. Or if you already have your cryptocurrency, uh, for example, VeChain, VET, VET, on KuCoin, then you can select use VET and you then you click confirm and then you can select your VET. So basically you can select, do you wanna start with just USDT or VET? USDT in this case would be better because if you have VET, it will convert it first into USDT anyway, before it will then use it for the bot to trade it against VET. So it doesn't really make a great difference to be honest. Um, and what else? And there are fees. Yes, there are fees. And you can see the fees here. The fee is, for me is 0.08%. I know there are ways to get lower fees on um, KuCoin and I'm going to look into that. But 0.08% is already quite low um, compared to other exchanges. But you can work on getting a lower fee as well. And I will contact uh, KuCoin as well. Maybe I will be able to offer you um, a sort of a code or something like a referral code where you can then also get lower fees. Um, all right, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. So if you select, right, I want to do USDT, you, you put in your amount or you put it in percent, whatever. If you don't know exactly how many USDT you have, you just go to 100% or whatever you want to use. And then you can select that. Here you can see your available balance actually down there. And then you click on create and then the bot is running. And that's pretty much it, yeah. I won't set this one up because I don't want to set another one up. Um, I just canceled one. Um, just to show you this video actually, otherwise I couldn't have opened this. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, and then you can click create and it's just running. And it will. Um, I would recommend leaving it running for maybe a period of three, four weeks to find out if it actually works for you. Uh, please remember there are risks. Yeah, and please also do your own research before using a KuCoin trading bot. This is not a recommendation to use one. I only share my own experience here and this has been positive throughout. Um, and what else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, what you need to make sure is that your USDT that you use for the trading bot is actually in your trading um, in your trading portfolio on KuCoin. And yesterday in my video that I did on KuCoin, and you can find it in the tutorials playlist, I showed you how you can convert actually your cryptos from your main um, basically main wallet on KuCoin to your trading wallet. So it needs to be in your trading wallet. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple to set up. Um, all the settings are pretty much there. And yeah, let me know uh, what you think. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Let me know, uh, yeah, pretty much if you have any experience with trading bots. And if you also recommend any other websites for trading bots and why these websites would be better than for example, KuCoin would interest me as well. Hopefully that video was useful. If it was, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.